What's going on guys, Auzi here, welcome back to a brand new video. So Upper Meccano has just came out, 86 overall, a plus 5 upgrade from his inform. I liked his inform a bit, but I didn't like it to the state that I would personally use it. Now, this card, he looks outrageous. For 85 pace, 85 defending and 89 physical. 70 passing is a bit, uh, 72 dribbling is a bit, uh, but at the end of the day, the most important stat, he's got him. 6 foot 1. I would say minimum I'll go for centre back is 6-2 simply because of the reach. Sorry of intercepting the ball. But at the same time, an inch, I don't think it's going to matter. Medium, medium work rate. I wouldn't say the perfect centre back work rate. I do prefer medium high. But at the same time, medium, medium is not terrible. Three star weak foot is nice because I'm going to be able to cut onto that left foot and part of it. And it's hopefully it's gonna, not going to have a problem. He also has two star skill moves. We don't do skills with, all, with our centre back, so let's all be fair now. So that doesn't matter. He is on an anchor, ke anchor chemistry style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 83 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. A very, very fast player. One of those players that is going to be able to catch up with like Team Lee and Mbappe and all those players. Now, passing wise, short passing is 85. That's always going to be nice. It's going to be them short plays. He shouldn't screw up any passes if you want to pass it straight to the CDM or straight to the left back or right back. Hopefully, he shouldn't screw it up. Now, 78 long passing. I do believe it is enough to obviously switch the play. Now, the freestyle weak foot, it could be an issue simply because when switching, you usually need 4-star minimum to 100% make it there. But 3-star is going to be, be a bit inconsistent. Now, agility-wise, 70 agility. Clearly, this guy is going to be one of those players that you're just going to tackle the ball with and you're not going to be able to turn because you're going to have to pass it instantly off. He has got 73 bounce as well, which means if he does get spun, hopefully, hopefully he's not falling on the floor. Now, the 74 ball control could be an issue as well, simply because when he collects the ball, he could be taking bad touches. And that's the last thing you want your centre back to do. But here we get into the big boy stats. 90 interceptions. He's going to be intercepting them through balls, hopefully. 90 heading axe with 99 jumping. He's going to be winning headers left, right and centre over the, all the attackers. He's got 87 defensive awareness, which is also going to be very nice simply because he's going to be tracking runs by himself. He also has 99 standing tackle and 95 sliding tackle, which means if he tackles the ball and it's a hard, solid tackle, he is going to get the ball probably 90% of the time. Now, 67 stamina. Stamina on a centre back does not matter at all. So just don't let that, just don't let that like make you not get a card because he's got 67 stamina. Trust me, stamina does not matter on a centre back. 99 strength always going to be nice, and 99 aggression. The strength is going to make him be bodying players left, right, and centre. Hopefully, the aggression is going to make him even faster, and hopefully help with that acceleration a bit. But today, I have linked him up with. I can't pronounce his name, so I'm not even going to try it. But also, Rio Ferdinand and uh, Ferland Mendy is obviously on 10 chem. I've also got the likes of Adama Traore, Kante, and Deli Ali in the team. As long as I use him in a foot in a uh, four at the back, he should be fine. But I am going to say the formation. He I will will be using him in a four four two. So most likely he'll probably be the right right centre back because I feel like the right centre back does more than the left, and I really want to test him out this year. But let's get straight into the games. That's a nice, oh my god, did you see how solid that tackle was? The thing is, that aggression obviously coming into play, he was straight on it instantly. Can he do the switches? Yeah, I, I expected him to be able to do those simple switches. So, that standing tackle was so, so hard. The aggression coming into play, that 99 aggression, making him simply get onto the person instantly. And he absolutely took the guy down. There was no, literally nothing, nothing. That can compare to that. On that beautiful slide tackle, just couldn't get it cleanly, but he did enough to allow Mendy to just come over. What I'm noticing so far is he is super, super fast. With that 99 aggression, he's always going to be fast, but I didn't expect him to be this fast. So we have got a corner, and there's only one person you can hit this to. 99 jumping. He is six foot one, so why not give him a go? He's on it. Oh, he won it. He got in front. You see how high he jumped compared to the other players, though? Jesus Christ. I just couldn't get the green time, though, unfortunately. On that. Beautiful. What? Like, the thing 100% I'm noticing is his aggression. That's the one thing I'm liking a lot. He's straight onto, like, the point where you want him to be. 
every single time and that's just beautiful to see. The fact that he can get there instantly and do that strong tackle that he does, that he will get the ball 90% of the time, probably shows how good he is at centre-back. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with his passing. His passing is actually really, really good. His, the accuracy on it, the dip on it, he gets there really, really fast, so it doesn't allow any defender to get there before our player. It's really nice. He doesn't feel too clunky on the ball. Look, he actually feels pretty agile. That is something I did not expect at all, and Kante decided he wanted to take a bad touch. Love. Use that pace. There you go. Simply why I wanted not a lot of attackers are going to be outpacing him. Simply because he is so, so fast. Putting a strong tackle. Well played, man. I love the way he just gets there. He's so, so fast onto the point. And I don't see that from my players like Rio or Varane. And Upper Makano, I tell you, right, it's something different. Upper Makano straight onto the spot. What an interception, by the way. Nice. Hold him off. Oh, now that is something you don't see every day. That's all I'm going to say. Something you don't see every day. I do believe that is towards his balance. The way he just got shrugged off by Royce. Not even one of the strong, strongest players I've seen. That, that could be an issue. So, near post header. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, Upper Makano can get his head to this one. He has. Oh, okay. So, it wasn't the greatest angle, obviously. He has to do a lot of that header. Doesn't help that I didn't time it right. But, hey, at least he got there, I guess. Nice. Great interception. He's obviously he's high interception stat. is coming into play there. He didn't really need his 6 foot one reach. I do believe a 6 foot or something player would have worked. But, I like his defensive awareness. Don't get outpaced. No way. What a tackle. Oh my god. That is ridiculously lucky. Now we did get outpaced. Which is a bit of an issue. But the guy does have 98 pace to be fair to him. But the thing is. He recovered really well. And got that block off. Now. He obviously end, still ended up scoring. So I don't know. Maybe his pace let me down a little bit there. Nice. I love the way I can just run out with him time to time and just literally start sprinting at players because no, they don't know what to do. They don't expect the centre-back to be running out like that. And the amount of pace he has and the aggression just makes him so much faster. On it. Oh my god. You can't say anything. You really can't. Just rushing at players like that with his aggression, making him super fast. And the fact that he can do it is literally unbelievable. I can't believe he actually got that slide tackle off. Now, if I didn't, it's a red card, I personally think. That was nice shielding off him. You ain't going to outshrink me. Come on now. This is Upper Makano. Okay, he did tackle me to be fair to him, but he didn't outshrink him all day, all day. Calm and composed. Go on, there you go. I went a bit too far there to intercept it. Thought he was going to go into a different direction. But he had that recovery time to just be so fast and get across and get the real, you know, get the real angle. And I've just screwed that up. <laughs> so it is time to review him. And let me say, this card, it's something special. I didn't expect it to be this good, I would say. No, 6 foot 1. Now, the reason I did say 6 foot 2 is the minimum is because I did believe Upper Makano didn't have that big enough of a reach to intercept a ball. So yes, sometimes he did, sometimes he didn't. But I do believe, like, it just shows why like, players like Virgil van Dijk, PK, that screen PK, like, the headline and Chris Smalling are so overpowered this year. Because they are all six foot four. They all can intercept the ball like it's crazy because they got the biggest reach. Upa Makano hasn't got that reach. Medium, medium work rates, nothing wrong with it. Freestyle weak foot, you can switch to play with that weak foot, which I was surprised about. Now, pace-wise, amazing. So, so fast, it's ridiculous. Now, he won't be catching up to players like, I don't know, Team of the Mbappe, James, Adama Traore. He won't be catching up to them. But he does give them a good raise for, his, for their money. And if it comes down to a strength battle, Upper Makano will win the ball. Agility-wise, he didn't feel bad on the ball at all. At all. He felt very nice, actually. He was turning quite quick, which I was surprised about because I didn't believe 70 agility was going to be enough, but apparently it is. 73 balance, I did have a problem with. 
Because when some people were trying to shift him, he was kind of tumbling a little bit. So you have to keep careful with that. Defending wise, interceptions, I said, if he had a bigger reach to him, his interceptions would be outrageous. Standing tackle was unbelievable. A very solid hard tackle going into the person, winning the ball 90% of the time. Defensive awareness was nice as well. He was uh, tracking runs, cut passing lanes. It was beautiful to see. Jumping wise, he was winning headers over everyone I could imagine, which is something you would love, obviously, from your centre back. A person that can win headers, a person that is six foot one that has 99 jumping. Now, uh, strength wise, unbelievable. He was bodying players at left, right, and centre, teaching teaching people who's really the boss. Now, 99 aggression just made him 10 times faster, and there was points I was just running out with him simply just because the people don't expect me to run out with the centre back. It's simple as that. And when you run out, when you run out with Upper Makano, you're going to get that ball nine times out of ten. But I have to give this card a rating out of ten. I liked him, but I didn't feel like he was 100% in full effect. So I am going to give him an eight out of ten. The reason I'm not going to give him a nine out of ten is simply because I do believe that balance is way too low. And he didn't have the greatest touches on him. His ball control was actually quite eh. Now, the reason I'm not going to give him a ten out of ten is it has to be the height. I can't give a six foot one centre back a ten out of ten. It has to be six four, six three. Because trust me, it saves you in this game a lot. But if you guys did enjoy this play review, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.